For large units, the inlet downpipe has a T on one end. The T is installed by coating the outside of the pipe with Kimrex adhesive and pushing the T down through the inlet opening. The inlet pipe is elliptical, so the T will only fit one way, ensuring that it is properly oriented parallel to the wall of the storage tank. This alignment allows stormwater to flow in both directions along the sides of the tank and not directly into the wall. For small units, a T and orifice plate is installed in the inlet downpipe. Install by coating the outside of the T with Kimrex adhesive and pushing the T down through the inlet pipe. After the T is installed, apply Kimrex to the outside edge of the orifice plate and install approximately one inch into the inlet downpipe. The open area of the orifice plate varies with the size of the storm scepter unit. The fiberglass insert has a built-in 24 inch up pipe. For models 8 foot in diameter and larger, an extension piece must be inserted into the existing 24 inch opening from the top side of the fiberglass insert and sealed with Kimrex adhesive. Next to the 24 inch up pipe is a collar for insertion of a 6 inch PVC vent pipe. Attach with Kimrex adhesive and extend this pipe upward to approximately 18 inches from top cover slab. The invert of storm sewer inlet and outlet pipes should reasonably match the invert of the fiberglass insert. To connect, center pipes in the rubber boots and fasten with metal clamps. Tighten clamps adequately and check seal. Lubricant may help in sliding the boot over a connecting pipe. Pipes larger than 30 inches in diameter will not connect with rubber boots and should be fitted and grouted by the contractor.